Hello guys, welcome in this new video. Do you know that DSD, Digital Speech Decoder, the open source version available on GitHub, is now able to decode DMR simplex? So if you have Dash Radio, TYT Radio, a Motorola, Motorola DMR Radio, or an iTerra uh, Radio, DMR Radio, or any other DMR Radio, you are now able to decode the DMR in simplex mode. Uh, it was a bit complex to, 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 to update DSD for this, but now it works. It's not perfect, but it works. You can do something. I will show you a demonstration on how you have to use DSD to decode the simplex mode. I will show you just now, but before credits. DSD is now able to decode DMR in simplex mode, but there are some limitations. It only works with unsquelched audio signal. There is a checkbox uh, called squelch. You have to uncheck it. I will show you on the demo because it doesn't work if uh, the signal is squelched because there are some TDMI cut off and the signal uh, is received. There is a filter, a DMR filter in the, um, in the DSD decoder, and when you uh, when you check the um, the squelch mode uh, checkbox between two TDMA, when the 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 terminal doesn't transmit any information, the um, the decoder of DSD will receive a zero sample uh, in FM mode, and uh, this will disturb the filter. It doesn't work when there is some uh, cut off in uh, there is no continuation of the signal. So you have to unsquelch it to uh, ensure that the filter always receive some data. This D will be unstable on the start in the very first frame when you transmit a message a voice frame, for example. For example, when you start the voice frame by pushing the PTT button, there are some voice errors that are sent. The first voice error has not, are not decoded properly. DSD is unstable, and once the stability is good, it will decode the audio. But you will last the few first frame on the transmission. It's important to do it. And you have to know that the time slot is always set to one, unless you are using the dual capacity direct mode. If you just program your uh, your terminal by uh, selecting a slot, any slot, but you didn't check the dual capacity direct mode uh, checkbox, the slot will be fixed to one. So it it is always one in this case. This is these are the limitation to use DSD. Now let's see a demonstration how it works and how you can uh, play with DSD to decode the DMR simplex mode. I will show you my screen, my uh, PC screen, uh, just now to, to with SDR Sharp and DSD. Uh, and uh, let's see it now. Okay, let's start the demonstration to with DSD um, to decode simplex mode. I have with me a TYT MD390 uh, model. This is a DMR terminal. I will use it in this demonstration. The first thing, you have launch SDR Sharp. SDR Sharp is launched. It's uh, correctly configured. The When you press the PTT button, you are on the right frequency. You can adjust the gain here, for example, not more gain. Okay, it's a good gain, you can close it. You have configured your uh, vi virtual audio cable here. The cable output, output is considered as the microphone by default. So DSD, when you are calling 
the command here, DSD will take by default with the input command here, slash dev slash DSP, it will open the output cable here as the microphone by default. And the output uh, of, um, of SDR Sharp is, is the cable input virtual audio cable here. First thing, you have configured all the frequencies correct, the bandwidth is correct, you have to uncheck the squelch checkbox here. I will show you why. I just launch DSD. Okay, DSD is launched. If I press the PTT here, there is a signal, but there is nothing on DSD. This is due to the squelch mode. If you unsquelch the checkbox here, test, test, test with VSD, test with VSD. Okay, it's good. Okay, it's good. It's good now. Perfect. It's good now. Perfect. As you can see, we can listen uh, DMR simplex mode. There is no repeater. The signal um, is a TDMA signal with some cutoff signal. When the, um, when the terminal doesn't transmit, it cuts off the signal. And DSD is not able to decode uh, properly when there, are some, uh, when there are some missing parts of the signal. So you have to unsquelch it. Um, and when the signal is unsquelched, the DSD decoder sees always a signal at the input and is able to uh, decode it to decode the correct time slot and TDMA time slot in DMR. This is why you have to, to check, to uncheck the squelch mode. As you can see here, the decoder is unstable when starting transmission. Here you can see there is MBC, MBC, MBC. It's not MBC, it's normally voice header. We don't decode properly here because the decoder need a bit uh, small time to stab to be stable to stabilize itself this is why on very short transmission the um, you won't able to decode the audio for example this is a very small uh, very small transmission the the dsd decoder is not able here to decode properly but on a long transmission you are able to hear and to listen to audio correctly. For example, I will make a long short uh, transmission. Test one to three. One to three. You 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 understand the the test one is not heard. You cannot listen, but two three is listened. Test one two three four. Test one two three four. Okay, it's good. Perfect. Okay, it's good. Perfect. Okay, you can make the test. On your own DSD, you can download DSD from GitHub or from my own website, onegenisup.fr, uh, and make your own test. Don't forget to, un um, to uncheck it because if I check it, for example, test with unsquelched audio, audio, and now I and now check I the squelch checkbox, check check and the signal. Uh, DSD is now not able to decode it properly, and if I uncheck I the squelch, uncheck the squelch case, it's case, it's good. Case, it's good. Okay, this is the subtlety. I'm currently working um, on DSD to to have a better uh, working to to ameliorate. I don't know to 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 improve the the decoder of DSD, but it's difficult for me. So you can decode. DMR simplex mode by using old squelch signal for the moment. Okay, I go back to the PowerPoints, pow, pow, PowerPoint slide. Okay, I hope you will uh, be able to reproduce the demonstration at home to play with uh, this magic tool. And now we are at the conclusion of this video. What can we say? By simple dsd is now able to decode simplex mode in dmr dmr simplex mode 
The decoding is not yet perfect, but I'm working on it. It's very difficult for me. I have tried um, several times to improve the, um, the working, the decoder working mode, but it's difficult. It's difficult, but I'm working on it. I will, I will try to improve it, to, do, to, 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 to receive correctly the few first frame at the start of the transmission. Now we are at the final word. Thank you all for the for looking this video, and I am I hope uh, you are you, you enjoy. Uh, let's stay connected. Some new videos will come after this one. Bye bye.